Hello guys and welcome to another trip report. For those of you that watched the previous trip report, you know that I ended my journey in Prague in a transit hotel and that's where we begin today's journey. I'm at the Reston Fun Centre, airside at Prague Airport, um, and I'm flying back to Birmingham Airport today in England with Jet 2 on one of their 737-800 aircraft. Jet 2 isn't the sort of airline that I'd normally consider using or making a trip report on. I've always thought of Jet 2 as a kind of low-rent charter-style airline that runs to places in the south of Spain, the Canary Islands and the Greek Islands and so on. Um, it's never really appealed to me to actually travel with them, but I've had so many recommendations over the past few months from people on this channel, on my Snapchat and on my Instagram, that I thought I really better had try them. So anyway, we're about to travel Jet 2, Prague to Birmingham. Enjoy the video. Okay, so I'm just at the B-Gates here at Prague Airport, waiting for the inbound aircraft to arrive from Birmingham. It's about 20 minutes late, but that's not uh, a worry for us today, as uh, there's no rush to get back to Birmingham, I can assure you. Anyways, I had a quick look on flight radar. Not only is the aircraft late, I also found out that it's actually only a few weeks old, fresh out the factory uh, from Boeing, a 737-800. So I'm looking forward to the cabin being nice and fresh. Hopefully it's gonna be a great flight back to the UK. Thank you. Yeah. 
cigarettes is not allowed. For your safety, please follow all instructions and cabin safety signage to you and our cabin crew from any unfortunate antisocial behaviour. That way, we can make sure everyone aboard today has a great flight. <laughs>
Okay, we're about halfway through the flight, and before I forget about these, I wanted to just commit these thoughts to camera. Overall, I think this is a great value flight so far. I paid around £40 for the single fare one way, uh, 12 or £16, I'll clarify that in the description below, for the seat selection, and £7 for my pre ordered meal. That's really good value for a budget carrier. In terms of the extra legroom seat, incredible amount of legroom, however, you're only really going to get the value out of that if you are well over six feet tall. Um, I personally don't find the value in it because I'm, I'm quite short, only five foot eight and a half inches. The other thing I wanted to say is about the front seats. So the, the front seats that don't have uh, a seat in front of them, the bulkhead seats like the one I'm sitting in, they don't have a fold out table, um, which you would normally find on most aircraft. So Jet2 have decided not to pay the extra to have those special seats in the front that have the um, uh, you know the cool little fold out tables. So what that means is they give you a tray table that slots in to your armrest that the cabin crew have to give you which is fine but you cannot fold that table away so it means that once you've got your books uh, your, in my case my camera gear and your food on that tray table and you want to get out you can't fold that away you have to put that stuff on the floor and you can't even put it into the seat pocket in front of you because the seat pocket is far away it's just a little usability issue nothing to complain about but something you might want to be aware of if you're booking those front seats however uh, you know i'm really blown away by the value that this flight is providing brand new aircraft lovely new boeing sky interior cabin the toilet here is fantastic mood lighting couldn't ask for more
Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, Bye. Bye. And that's it guys, welcome back to Birmingham Airport here in the UK. The official verdict on Jet 2, cheap and cheerful with emphasis on both, why pay more? Great value. Thanks for coming with me and I'll see you next Sunday. Mm -hmm.